Hello, I'm Glenn Burkett. We're going to talk about a subject now I'm very passionate about, and that's people who are on cholesterol medication. I think it's the biggest hoax ever, and you're being duped by the medical and pharmaceutical industry to be on a cholesterol drug. Now, that's a big statement. So, Glenn Burkett, where's your evidence? And as I present to you my evidence, get your doctor to present his evidence other than just handing you a script and say, hey, go off to the pharmacy and get this filled. I'm going to provide the evidence of why I think the drug is so bad. And it's been accumulating since 2002 when this side effect came out about statins causing muscle damage. And uh, it's still happening today, even more so. So many people are on the statin drug. Here's an article from the uh, Wall Street Journal coming from the Mayo Clinic that taking a cholesterol-lowering drug can prevent the risk of a heart attack, lowering the risk from 20% to 15. That's a 5% net gain for the risk of liver, kidney, and muscle damage. That doesn't make sense to me. More evidence. This is the FDA, two different articles here, of the FDA warning you against the cholesterol drug's side effects. So I have articles from USA Today, New York Times, Wall Street Journal. All the evidence shows leading cause of memory loss, muscle damage, liver damage, kidney damage, thyroid problems, depletes coenzyme Q10, which also leads to other issues that I'm going to be discussing with you. And here's an article that was in the West Palm Beach uh, paper. This deputy sheriff wrote the article to the pharmacist who answered people's uh, uh, questions. And they're called the People's Pharmacy. This was a 63-year-old male uh, deputy sheriff, bodybuilder, master's body bodybuilder. The doctor put him on Crestor. His um, cholesterol went from 260 to 189. Most people will get excited about that. I don't. Cholesterol numbers are relevant. The problem happened that he had never experienced such pain in his body, even worse than shingles that he had before. And this guy had to quit bodybuilding because it destroyed his muscles in one month. And several weeks later, it says in the article, he has not recovered. I hear these kind of stories all the time. This is in print. I can provide it for you. The pharmacist also uh, made a statement here. I was very proud of him saying this. The doctors need to realize that they have a Hippocratic oath of doing no harm. So it's a, it's, you have to become knowledgeable because these doctors are just giving that cholesterol drug out like it's no big deal. It's very, very, very harmful. Very harmful. I recommend that you really consider getting all this information together and determine whether you want to stay on it or not. What I would do is something like my mother did, who's 89. She had a carotid ultrasound test and the right side was 60% blocked. Now, she was called by telephone and told the test came back normal. Because when you're 60% blocked at her age at that time, that's normal. You need to ask more questions when they give you an uh, answer by telephone. You need, would you please mail that to me or email it to me? Because she did not know until two years later, she was in the doctor's office, and he reordered another carotid ultrasound to see if she had gotten worse because Medicare doesn't pay for the rotor rooter until she's 80% blocked. But my mother had been on my product and what she believes is my heart and body product, as you see in this report, reversed her blockage. No blockage. I've had that happen to people. I had a gentleman go from 85 to 0, 95 to 10, and also helped him with his diabetic neuropathy. So you really got to start thinking about what is going on as far as these cholesterol drugs and uh, causing memory loss, muscle damage, doubles your risk of diabetes. Now, this is from the National Institute of Health. So 
You have to understand, where I'm getting my evidence is from reputable institutions. And what this says is, if you're on a cholesterol-lowering drug, you're going to deplete your coenzyme Q10 levels by 40%. CoQ10 oxygenates every cell in your body. You don't need to lose any CoQ10. You need to be taking additional CoQ10, and that's what I do in my wellness program. Now, when you lose that CoQ10, these are the symptoms that can happen. Poor growth, loss of muscle coordination, muscle weakness, loss of vision, hearing problems, uh, developmental delays, learning disabilities, mental retardation, heart, liver, and kidney disease, gastrointestinal disorders, severe constipation, respiratory disorders, diabetes, increasing risk of infection, neurological problems, thyroid uh, dysfunction, dementia. Why would you take a cholesterol drug? Please tell me why. Because to me it's pretty foolish to take a drug and not realize the major side effects that can take place. Also up on the screen now, you'll see Crestor. And this is their own advertisement. They got this nice picture showing a, a, an artery with blockage in it, and it's giving you all this description. But understand, it says along with diet and exercise, take Crestor. But people don't do that. They just take the Crestor. The doctor doesn't emphasize anything other than here's the script. Then there's this one line there. It says, Crestor has not been shown to prevent heart disease, heart attack, or strokes. Why would you do it? So get more educated and take charge of your health. It's your body, your life.